so you know I have my fair share of situationships with these. Uh, they had a dumb th was friends with dumb th had in the course with. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm an expert for real. And you feel me? I feel like it's my due diligence to educate the youth on some red flags that may occur to help them prevent coming into a relationship with these type of people. Now, as a disclaimer, I don't feel like these people should be scrutinized in any way, shape, or form. I okay, bro. Like get to the point. 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 God damn. Constant validation. Dude, let's go. Oh, like, 50% of these can be applied to We can talk about it. And I ain't gonna lie, men are So, to work some chatting. Okay, so number one. They seek constant validation. So this one's pretty obvious and it goes without saying. If they are on their Instagram posting borderline OnlyFans content, you might as well go ahead and pack it up, my boy. Thirst traps on social media is a clear indicator of activity. And I'm gonna keep it a bean. That shit mad corny. All right, go the whole peep game. Social media is a clear indicator of Bro, bitches that do this shit, the little arches online, bro, that is meant for the bedroom and bedroom only, bro. Why are y'all doing this for all the eyes on the internet to see? If I ever cuffed a girl and I seen her over here recording a TikTok of her doing a little arch like this, we are breaking up immediately, bro. You are getting kicked out of my house. Activity. And I'm gonna keep it a bean. That shit mad corny on both sides. If you over there slotting in her DMs and you ain't got no type hold of on, motion, on, mad corny on both. Okay, how you fit a sister in the video, but then have niggas in your video? Just not blurred. You do realize YouTube is finna demonetize you for having this, right? You gotta lock in, bro. Both sides, if you over there slotting in her DMs and you ain't got no type of motion, what are you doing? Get the bag, get the package, fuck's wrong with you? And half the time, gang, they don't even be pressure in real life. They be mid as hell in real life, so it's not even worth it for real, bro. This merch is worth that is very real. Most girls who do do the thirst traps have like 52 filters. Then Photoshop the whole video. I don't even know how you do that shit. Know all the best angles to make sure their booty pops out in the best uh, possible way. They know what they're doing, bro. They don't actually look that good in real life, bro. IRL. All right, so number two, she goes clubbing on the consistent basis. Oh no! All right, go watch your girl goes clubbing. She got throw there. She had felt her. She's an ore, bro. Now, Swear you to would God. think this is common knowledge, but a lot of people defend this religiously, uh, especially guys. So I'll break it down really simply for the men. Bro, my girl go to the club all the time, bro. What are you doing here? Yo, girl be cheating on the song, here, bro. That's what I said. Who was supposed to smoke? Don't you remember? Are you why? Facts. I'm going to tap in with you after this video game. Man, hit me up. I'm going to be in the living room. See, you need to stop all that smoking. That's why your voice is dry, bro. Because this video is a great topic, and I might actually steal this idea from you, buddy. You gotta, like, spice it up a little bit, bro. You got potential, though. Anyways, now I'm gonna keep it the bean. Girls are the only reason single guys go to the club. Like, my nigga, let's be rational. That's real. It's literally an IRL Tinder. Now, there isn't anything necessarily wrong with going out and having fun. Cloud, have you been sober your whole girl, life? Fuck, she's though. always clubbing. There's an issue because she's truly invested into you. She would not be going to the club without you, bro. That's now, real. There's some exceptions, like if your friend's getting married or something, but it wouldn't be like there's tomorrow. always exceptions. Like if it's just your friend's birthday and like she really wants to go to the club, okay, cool. You, you go you do your thing. Or if it's like if there be wedding situations or like special events like that. If you're just going clubbing on a random Friday, bro, you're trying to get some new dick. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. We gotta, we gotta break it up. You obviously don't like my dick. Girl cheating on me? Cloud, would you bag Kim Kardashian? Low key? Someone said one ZX9. <laughs> what the fuck? Low key? I think I could bag Kim Kardashian, man. I think I gotta be more famous, though. I have to, like, reach high status. Because Kim Kardashian just dates off of status, bro. She, bro, bro. There is no Riz involved in trying to bag Kim Kardashian. Look at her track record, bro. I'm not rich enough or famous enough to do it right now, bro. But, like, eventually, maybe. Yes, bro. Get out my video, bro. Get out. One yeah, Kanye Nine. She has guy best friends. Plug. Now, with a few yes. rare exceptions, girl and guy relationships typically aren't as platonic as they seem to be. Now, I'm not saying it's completely impossible for the opposite sex to be friends with each other, because I've seen it happen before and I've seen it work. For example, if like the guy was previously friends with the boyfriend or the guy has a girlfriend, that usually levels out. But if it's not one of those niche scenarios, and it's just it's just kind of weird in my opinion, and I probably wouldn't take her that seriously. But your best bet is to deeply assess the situation and come to your own conclusion, because I can't speak on that. But you know, I'm willing to hear your opinion, man. Go ahead, tap in, leave a little comment. Number four, her phone is on D and D. Yes, 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 yes. Speaking of, I forgot to text a hoe, bro. I just forgot to text this girl, bro. Oh, damn. I ain't why that shit cooked. Anyways, bro, if a girl's on D&D, &D, <laughs> okay, that's cooked. Because, like, why you on D&D, &D, bro? 
I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, let me tell you a quick, like, brief story time, bro. So, me and Zay were on this two band, uh, like, recently, right? And we was with these girls, and uh, the one I was with, she was cool. She was vibing. She had her D&D off. You feel me? I could see whatever text message she could go through. She was showing me her phone and shit. We was vibing. We was cooling, bro. We was, we was, we was matching each other's vibes. It was an amazing uh, time with her. But the one with Zay, though... I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. She like she was she was just all that main character bullshit. Like she was trying to act like she was too good for Zay. And I ain't gonna lie to you. She did look good, but Zay Zay looked good too. I don't know why she was acting like that. She was just all over this man's dick. But uh, I, but like, bro, I remember Zay told me, uh, she was trying to show him something on her phone. But uh, it did like Zay went to grab her phone, but before he went to uh, before he could grab it, she took the phone back, put it on D and D, and then gave it back to him. Nigga, after that, he says, bro, she was cooked in his eyes, bro. He ain't ever want to talk to her again. That shit's crazy. That shit was crazy. Nigga, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, she a whore. Plug. If she's a D&D &D demon, chances are she's getting dick. <clears throat> if she's a D&D &D demon, chances are she's hiding something. <clears throat> Chance if she's a notification, snap demon, chances are she's hiding something. Now, whether that be Tinder notifications, Snapchat notifications, iMessage notifications. Why are y'all calling me Chief Keith, bro? So if you're thinking about wiping the D&D &D demon, I'm going to let you know right now, my boy. She is not your girl. She is ours. Nigga, you corny. Number five, she's excessively flirty. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. If, you're, if a girl's flirty, bro, if a girl is flirty, whew, she's cooked. Flirty, but like, okay. Flirty can get disgust. Like, flirty and friendly are the same thing, in my opinion. Because if you're very friendly to every single guy you talk to, it's, it's basically, like, you feel me? You're basically trying to, like, oh, you feel You're basically just opening your legs and saying, yo, come fuck me, nigga. That's what you're saying. Especially if you're flirty. Like, I feel like that's how, you feel me, I look at friendly girls. If you're just flirty with, like, everybody, you just like attention, bro. I know so many girls that are just hella flirty, bro. But like I would they but but like I know they will never treat me seriously, but they just be hella flirty. Should be pissing me off. This is one girl I'm thinking about right now. This one kinda sucks because these girls are really fun and chill, but they're most definitely a red flag. Nah, but real shit, what was you even talking about? That nigga just fucking lit up. Bro, he just sparked up on his, bro, he just sparked up while recording this video. Bro, you gotta be more professional, bro. Come on now, lock in. Oh yeah, no, those are my favorite type of females, bro. But those are the type of girls that you keep around just to do practice with, bro. Work on your form and whatnot. But other than that, cuffing. Nigga just sparked up during Number the video. Six. Are you serious? She's a liar. That's a bit Listen, horrible, she's bro. She's willing to lie to you once. She'll do it again. My mom used to always tell me that if someone shows you who they are, believe them. A relationship is built off trust. And honesty is the only way to establish trust. I usually treat all lies the same, regardless of the significance of it. Unless it's is like faded, she's throwing bro. a surprise birthday party or some shit. Obviously, we're not going to count that. But usually, when you catch your partner in a lie, it's going to be hard to have the relationship be the same as it was prior. So you might Are you serious? Quits, bro. Or just don't cuff if you haven't cuffed yet. Number seven, her best friend. Cloud, how do you, Cloud, how do you know a lot of girls and you still have a girlfriend? Fun fact about that, I don't actually know a lot of women, bro. Like, I don't know a lot of women at all. Like, I've, like, bro, I've met, like, bro. I don't know a lot of women. Most of the women I come in contact or I do anything with, I get through, I get in contact with them through other people that know a lot of people. I don't know a lot of women, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. And why I don't got a girlfriend, I just haven't found the right one, bro. Haven't found the right one. Friends are Plug. now. I know y'all heard the same. Y'all just think I do, but like, bro, I'm just very efficient with my targets. If I talk to a girl, most of the time I'm finna complete the mission. Like, it's very rarely where I fail. I'm gonna just be real. I'm just very efficient. If a feather flock together, you are the sum of the people you hang around with. And for my females out there, the same goes with guys. Now these girls are dangerous because if you do, I do. I I ain't gonna lie. I do sell. I do sell. I do like. I ain't gonna lie. Recently, I've been selling like a lot. But it's more of like I'm just I just don't respond no more. I don't respond to like hoes, bro. That's not my priority. It ain't my priority or no more. It used to be. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like way back a couple years ago, that's why I never missed. But now it's just not. So like you feel me? I'll be missing a lot more now. But yeah, I'm fine with it though. Get on you. 
you will never find out. Because who going to tell you? Her whole friends? But, no, like, a I, lot more is, like, maybe five times in the last year, if I'm being real. Obviously, she's going to tell you she's different, and obviously, you're not going to believe her. But I see nothing wrong with pursuing her friends. This is faded as so. fuck. Oh, my God. What? Y'all meat munching, bro. Oh, my God. Cloud, if you pull, then try to pull Ruby Rose. Okay, look. Y'all got y'all gotta understand. Women like that, a regular guy can't pull those. Like you bro, Brian that works at retail at like Costco, he can't pull no Ruby Rose no matter how good of Riz he has. Bro, it's just not possible. The reason why is because most women grade who they wanna mess with or who they wanna fuck with off of status. That's what they look at. And if a woman is and if a and if a woman is of high status, she's not going to fuck with no Brian for retail, nigga. She's trying to fuck with Drake. That's just how it is, bro. So, like, me, one cloud 9 a pretty successful YouTuber, and I've become, uh, and I've become a streamer who has, like, how many viewers do we got right now? Oh, oh, I thought we had, like, 50. Damn. I feel sad now. But, like, who's averaging, like, around 40 to 50 now, viewers. You feel me? We're doing pretty good. Yeah, I have no chance at pulling Ruby Rose. I have absolutely no chance. Like, no chance at all. Because, like, bro, I'm not of high status. Now, Cox and that, he has more of a chance. Duke Dennis, he definitely got a chance. But little old me? Not, not yet. Not yet. It, it doesn't matter how much I riz, how much game I have, how, how attractive I am. I don't actually have a chance of bagging her. I might be able to fuck her. But, like, bag her? Nah, that's just the truth, bro.